Hey guys and girls, what's going on? War1177 here, and I'm back doing another random run in the Binding of Isaac. Today, good old Maggie, classic Maggie, Maggie with lots of health, and once again, going to be trying to utilize that health to our advantage, and hopefully getting a little bit more health along the way would also be a nice thing, even though we start off with a bunch, because that just makes losing the health from the deals with the devil that we will hopefully make a lot easier to manage and I really want a bomb I can get three extra bombs plus a tinted rock yeah I'm gonna I will take the, the d20 eventually I just have to find or see if there's a curse room first because then I could enter it and leave it without Using any health because I can use the um heart once. Now, unfortunately, this is the, the last room here. And I'm not going to be able to get any bombs. Well, that's a bomb. Just not one of the ones that I want. Okay, do some of that. And I guess some of the options I do have to try and get a bomb. Besides fight the boss, which is going to be my first option. Is I could always use the D20. Right here. And then hopefully one of those will turn to an active bomb. It's not likely, but it is possible. And I really do want at least one bomb. But. We'll see how things shake out here. Again. One possibility is that I get the crate. I think that's a possibility. I'm not sure if Laird Jr. is able to drop it or not. But I would assume that he is because you can get that item after boss fights. And Laird Jr. is a boss where you don't get a set or determined item. So even though I don't hold much hope for it, I still think it's a possibility. A few close calls there. Laird Jr. almost had me trapped. Can't let that happen again. But of course there's only one now, so that'd make that a lot easier to not get trapped. Pentagram, good damage upgrade. I'm not gonna be too upset about that. And yeah, I guess I have to try for it. And it didn't work out, which is unfortunate, but I wasn't really expecting it to work out. Missed out on two tinted rocks already, so oh well. Maybe that's redemption right there. But I can't really get the bomb if it's in this room. But if I put a bomb right there, I can get get that bomb plus open up the tinted rock all at the same time. And I also need a key. I'm going to go and search for a key first before I find the boss. Hopefully find the get into the item room and get a good item which make the boss a little bit easier and let's go a little bit crazier with these guys that's a penny my first little collectible that I've gotten another two tinted rocks on this floor am I going to be able to take advantage of them? I really do hope so I could have had four tinted rocks already if things turned out nicely Let's just go into here right away. And yeah, let's make use of a deal with the devil early on. Pack is not a bad item. It's not like I'm going to lose health by exiting. Oh, come on. No keys and no bombs. Well, there's a bomb there, but obviously, like I said, can't get to it. Fighting Monstro. So once again, I think there's a chance to get the crate. Not a very good chance, but a chance nonetheless. So, let's hope it all works out. I guess... I value a bomb as much as I value a key right now. Two cents, plus an HP upgrade. Well... Yeah, I'm not going to take the razor. And missing out on an item room... And another two tinted rocks really hurts. That's that may come back to bite me in the end of the game. 
But at least I got a key this time. Let's go and not fight the boss. And see what else this floor has in store. Another tinted rock. It's like the game really wants me to open up tinted rocks. But I can't because I never have any bombs. I'm going to try and save the D20 in case I do need a bomb. And then I could always use that to hopefully change something into a fine looking bomb. I will be losing soul hearts if I enter that. Which doesn't really interest me too much. But I probably should look into it. Close call there. You stand still when he fires and you should be fine. But the trick is to stand still and that's not always easy. Last room, well besides the mob trap room. So therefore last chance to get a bomb. And be careful with those, with those shots there. Still no bomb, therefore I will be checking this out. And finally, here's my first bomb. Much needed. Just remember to use it on that tinted rock. No sense in trying to look for the secret room. At least I don't think so. Because I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get to it through the curse room. But, like I said, I'm going to be losing a lot of health. I'm going to lose all, all my soul hearts. I'll be able to get back to full health. Because I will lose half a red heart, but... I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to do that yet. That's a fairly significant chunk of my health will be gone. Let's just see what the item room has first. Oh, chocolate milk. I don't really like you, but just out of habit, I take it. It's not really a good reason, but it's the reason I got. Let's go and search for the small rock. Hopefully in the tinted rock. If there's soul hearts in here, yeah. Maybe I'd think of going to the curse room. And I really want a key. And I also do want money. And that's going to be fairly important parts of my game is to get to the habit which I would find in the shop okay I'm probably gonna get hit okay luckily I did not not exactly what I was wanting I was hoping for a lot of money in here and yeah there goes a lot of my health Well, with not much else to do now, I'm going to go fight the boss after picking up these soul hearts. Don't think I will play the arcade or the slot machine, I should say. Champion version of Peep. Okay. Could be a little bit tricky. Just have to... Okay, I thought I would have dodged that. Just have to keep moving around. But not walk on the creep. That would be bad. And of course it's the champion one. Which spills creep when it jumps up really high. So I have to be extra careful for that. And also as usual avoid the eyes and the extra shots. Come on now. You're almost done. Very good fight. I'll take the HP upgrade. Be kind of happy about that. Don't need red health. Might as well swap it out for something. And yeah, I guess I'll move on after that. Been having some decent floors, nothing great. I think the second floor, the basement part 2, had potential to be great, but I didn't, that was dumb, I didn't actually manage to go to the item room, 
if I got to the other room and it was a good item, I would have called that a pretty good floor. And they started closing on me, had to leave. And of course that's a boss trap room. If I can find some extra soul hearts and maybe an arcade or a blood bank just lying around the floor, I may go into that. Maybe an option I'm trying I'm willing to test out. But for now it's definitely off the table. Unless of course it's connected to a secret room and I can find enough bombs then I'd be willing to check it out, of course. Come down here, yeah. This room again, just that first shot that I charge up is kind of critical to this room. Hourglass is not very good. I'll take it and drop it again. I'll blow up this tinted rock. There's a soul heart. I think I would check out the the boss trap room now if I have the option to. Of course, that is if I don't lose any more health. But yeah, as it stands right now, if I were to find a blood bank that I could play to get down to one red heart, I would go into the boss trap room. Let's get rid of that guy and then not the champion just save the champion for the for last and there we go he's all alone nobody else to help him out I want both of these they're both gonna be useful I looked at the item room so I might as well check out the boss room now it's Gertie I guess I don't have any problems with Gertie as long as I can avoid all those shots which shouldn't be too difficult and get rid of those nubs I'm never sure if I should just keep firing with chocolate milk or actually charge a few shots I think if Gertie's ever gonna fire at me I should just charge while running to the side but other than that just firing a bunch of shots and that's the smart thing to do. But you never know. There could be better strategies out there. Don't really want that. But I'll see what the tarot card is and take it anyways. Wheel of Fortune. That's nah, not great. And one thing I really do want is flying for whatever reason. So I'm going to take a bit of a risk and pick up Spirit of the Night. And hopefully that will get me far in the game. I know that there's something. Maybe it was on the last floor. I thought there was something that I couldn't get to. Actually, it was by the boss trap room. I think it was two bombs. So if I find an arcade and go back there but I'm going to try and find the arcade first before heading back and checking out the other stuff curse room got a good feeling about it for whatever reason maybe should have taken the luck foot puberty and oh I didn't want telepills but greed I guess that's okay in its own way one thing that does interest me, well, not anymore, but fighting greed, if you dropped a lot of money, I may have used the D20 there, but obviously didn't drop money, dropped the Steam sale, not going to complain about that, but would have been interesting to try and re-roll all that stuff. Going to be looking into the next few shops, thanks to getting that Steam sale. Okay, thanks to Curse of Darkness, kind of went the wrong way there, but hey, it allowed me to pick up those bombs and just backtrack a little bit more. Maybe I already had been in there. And it looks like that's going to be the end of 
the floor. I will use half a soul hearts to get that sun card back. But now I really need to start stocking up on health. I think I've used enough of my time to, eat, to spend my health in certain ways to get items that I want, such as the Pact and the Spirit of the Night. Now it's time to start building up health. I'll play this thing twice because I can. And then I'm just going to move on. I think Spear of the Night is going to be extremely useful here. Because I'm just going to cheap out a little bit and just hide over the rocks. And shoot over top of the rocks because I can. And I mean, why not? It's a difficult room otherwise. Plus this is an XL floor. That's not very good. So if there's green in this shop, that's it for the shops. Only got one chance to get the habit, which did not show up. So yeah, I'm going to be a little bit upset about that. But I know you can't win them all. Just hoping to win that one. This room is not very nice. Okay, that guy's gonna... No, I totally moved out of the way for that. I'm sure I moved out of the way. Okay, everybody's going in that direction. This direction. Get rid of you. And then just one guy left. And dealing with this little tangent up here. Just to get that out of the way. Really gonna hope for finding at least two more cents somewhere on this floor. Just to buy that soul heart that was in the shop. Keys aren't bad. There's one cent. I can just hide out over these rocks here. And deal with the enemies like this. The safe way. And not the quick way. What? I was still hiding in the corner. I know he can shoot through corners. I guess it's only fair that the enemies can too, but... Doesn't seem right. And, okay. Well, big thanks to the Ankh, I guess. I'll check out whatever is in here and keep going this way. I'm going to have to roll on Ankh health now. And that's not necessarily a good thing. Don't really want to roll on your extra lives. But hey, if I have to do it, then I guess I will. with that guy and just one worm left it's not the worm that scares me it's the turrets but I made it out that time so now that soul heart in the shop is going to become even more valuable than it once was seeing as I think I'm official blue baby so I can't get any extra red health I'm pretty sure that's how the onk works so, I'm going to try and stock up on soul hearts. Polaroid is going to become more valuable. As it usually does with Blue Baby. And, hopefully, play these rooms pretty smart and safely. That room's always dangerous. And that was a bad first shot, which is the most important shot, if you ask me. Because it's the one that I typically charge up the most. The moon. That's going to be used when I want to go and head back to... No, I guess not head back, just head on over to the boss rooms. Which I don't really feel like doing right now. I want to check out this side of the floor.
which could take a while. Seeing as there's a lot of rooms to go, and even with, between this kind of side, oh, wow, this side of the floor, and where the boss rooms are, and the secret room is, there's quite a few rooms in between there too. So, I guess backtracking will have to happen. Luckily, found the first item room over here. Okay, just deal with that guy. Get rid of those nubs so no extra spiders spawn. And then deal with the rest of them. Get rid of the doubleness of this big spider. Doubles my money. Let's see what's in here first. Okay. That's kind of perfect timing for the miter. Can't really shoot this poop with all my spectral tears. So I'll just pick it up and hopefully get out of there without getting hit by that eternal fly. Oh, nice. Good thing I didn't use the two of diamonds yet. Because I would have wasted one cent. But I'm going to use it now. Just so that way I can pick up the sun card and don't have to backtrack. And then maybe I'll participate in the fortune teller machine. Don't really need keys or bombs anymore. But I do need soul hearts and this is a way to get soul hearts. It's also a way to get more keys I guess. Although I'm scared to play it too much because if I find a judgment, I still want some money. But I guess I'll just play all my money, even though it doesn't seem to be working out too well. It's all worth it now, I guess. Although I will waste half of a soul heart. Let's do that. Forget about it. Forget about the other one. Just want to go and see. I just want to use those two active bombs, which I wouldn't have obviously been able to pick up otherwise. Want to make some use of them, and also want to make use of my good old D20, which I haven't really been able to do too greatly yet. But I think that was the first good use of it right there. Harlequin babies, a little bit of extra offense. Nothing really more than that. Not really a significant offensive up boost either. But just a few extra shots here and there could be helpful. Charged up a shot there. Managed just to hit him in time. Okay, I was wondering what that extra chime was, but that was the secret room chime. And it's green in the secret room, which was nice because that definitely meant no greed in the shop. I guess I could have used my D20 there. Double my keys again, wow. And thanks for the soul heart. Just get rid of one side. At least try and clear out one side to make it somewhat safe. That's usually the technique I go for with this room. This doesn't always work. Because it's not easy to clear out one side safely. And then even still, these guys can fire in some random shots here and there. Okay, thank you Mr. Turret. I was going to say thank you again, but you kind of failed. Don't like that I can't shoot over the turrets. And deal with that guy there. Pretty much just heading back now for the sun card. Don't really need keys. I do need money. I guess I'll pick them all up. Debating using the D20 there. But ended up not. This boss strap room I will be able to go into. So that makes me a little bit happy. Pageant Boy is the perfect opportunity for that. Yes, I need money a little bit, but 
I also really want to use the D20, and that's a perfect reason why. I have lots of keys. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. So opening up those gold chests will be no problem. I guess I maybe shouldn't have picked up... I picked up a soul heart, but I think I also picked up a bomb, which was a mistake. I guess I do really need the bomb. Although I will use one on Chubb, just to speed things up a little bit. Peep is the second boss. We already fought a champion Peep. Did take one hit, I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly. So hopefully this fight will go a little bit better. Don't think we're that much stronger. But if I play my cards right, should be able to do just fine. Plus it's not a champion version. Just the big bonus we have now versus the time we fought the first peep is that we can fly which doesn't help out too much but it will help out just a little bit let's open up these I want the soul heart and that's good to reroll I will pick up the pill and use it unfortunately I used it one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. That's not a bad haul. Yeah, sure, you get hit by a spider. But the good news is I gained some health there. Pretty sure some of it was due to the mitre, which is an extremely useful item. That's Blue Baby. Let's get rid of that green thing. Don't need it to help out with these little butt licker guys. Actually, maybe I did. Taking this much damage is not good. It's not good practice. Especially when you're planning on going to the womb or utero next floor. So I have to break out of that bad habit. Don't need that as a trinket, even though I would like a trinket. That's not one that I would want. So I'm pretty sure it only gives extra chances for half red hearts to show up. If it was full red hearts, then yeah, that'd be a good idea. Thanks to having the miter, then they may turn into more soul hearts. At least that's kind of my theory behind that. But I think it's only half red hearts. So I could I could be wrong on that actually, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I just think I'd rather I'd rather take flat penny anyways, so doesn't really matter too much anymore. I think I have two sun cards. So might as well use one right now. For no reason whatsoever. Just gonna play this guy. And hopefully get some soul hearts out of it. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect. More soul hearts please. Almost got three in a row. Full card. That's gonna be wonderful. It's not something I, I remember that I would want, but it is something that I do want. I saw a judgment in there. Okay, so maybe it'd be smart to start picking up some money and saving that. So let's blow this up. That's a start for the money cause. I'm just going to take the fool now. And then head on over to what will be the boss rooms. That tarot card was... And it's not a tarot card, it's a trinket. Of course. How could I be so silly to forget about the child's heart? And I will check out the secret room. Especially if it has money in it. That would be exactly what I'm looking for. Because I have that judgment card. And this room is not nice. Just kind of zoom across the screen like this. And deal with some enemies. When I think it's safe, that was not safe, but managed to avoid being hit somehow. I want your money. Therefore, I will take any money that drops in the hopes of gaining at least 10 cents. I will spend all my money on judgment that I get on this floor. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So if every room has enemies in it, should be able to get one more reroll out of this. But if not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so that's flying. Plus an eternal heart. Don't need the eternal heart. I mean, don't, don't need the flying. But I like the eternal heart. I've, I've actually already been to the secret room. It was greed. Yes, I don't need to go into there again. So, I guess that saves me a bit of time. But the sad part was, greed in the secret room would have given me a extra charge on the D20. Which could have been extremely useful if there's an, a room without any enemies in it. But so far, so good. Even though they're tricky rooms, they both have enemies in it. And they're both actually the same room, which could be quite obvious if you're watching. And, okay, this room, again, not a nice room, but it has enemies, so I'm going to be okay with it, I guess. Deal with it like that, and one guy left, and you're going to go down. Do you only need your... I, Okay, good. Good, that's perfect. This was the last room I was curious about having enemies in it. Obviously the boss rooms are going to have enemies. Because they have bosses in them. Hence the name. And... More money while I'm at it. Awesome. The Fallen, not really a boss I wanted to fight here. But if he drops a good item, I guess I could be okay with it. But that is only if he drops a good item. That's kind of a big if at sometimes. I don't think I hit either of them with that. No, I definitely didn't hit one. Just not sure about the other. Okay, one's gone. That makes my life a lot easier. I'm just gonna get a few shots in when he's shooting at me. He starts chasing me around. That's not very good. Sister Maggie. It's usable. It's not great. Let's go fight Mom. It's Champion Blue Mom. So that's not good news. Spawning a greed head right away. Not good news. But the fact that she killed it herself right away is good news. Getting hit by a spider. Come on now. I'm better than that. There's much more tougher enemies to worry about during the mom fight than these the old spiders. Especially spiders that I can kill in one hit. Okay, just had to worry about that greed head. Bigger concern than the mom fight at some points. That double spider came suspiciously close to hitting me. That greed head, as long as you stay out of the way, won't have to kill you. Two soul hearts, which I'm going to give credit to the miter for. Let's see if I can get red health now. I don't even know if I gained health. Maybe I did, but obviously it's the soul heart health. I'm going to take... Actually, there's no just in case. Let's take the, f the flat penny with us. Head on down to... Well, let's just see what's in here. I'm not going to buy anything. Unless there's a soul heart. Then I'm going to head on down to the boss trap room next. And use the d20. And whatever is in there, I will pick up. Because I won't get any more rerolls. Then after that, I'll play the judgment card. Pick up the sun card and be on my merry way. Okay. We've seen this one before, it's a telepills. And the hermit card. Well, that's not very good, but... I'm not going to be using the telepills, mainly because I don't want to leave this room without picking up the, the Polaroid, which I guess I could use. 
tell pills if I went to the boss room then used it. But the chance of finding I am air room after that are pretty slim. I just want a regular item, so I'm gonna just put them in a regular room because the item I want is the habit. So please, no, not what I wanted. Obviously, I said what I wanted. That was not it. But yeah, I think this is just the safest and best way to play out this room or the end of this room and get the sun card get the polaroid be happy with that and move on yeah it requires a little bit of walking but definitely still think it's the safe way to do this i'm all about playing things the safe way because the safer you play the better chance you have at winning in the long game Although you will have to take some risks at some point, you just have to pick and choose the right ones to make. So, not really excited about this, but moving on to the to the womb. Let's use a bomb, and that's my third flying item. That's unfortunate. Okay. There's a few different options I think I have for the boss room. And it could be bottom right or even top right. But either way, I'm going to be heading to the bottom right first. Just to see what it's all about. And I'm extremely surprised it didn't get hit there. And one thing I haven't really noticed too much, but probably should take note of now, is I don't have any orbitals. and. If I want to get far in the game or deal with those last few bosses, I'm going to need some orbitals. Get some little extra defense here and there. Yeah, I got all soul hearts with Polaroid, which is good defense, but I'm going to need a little something more and hopefully not get hit. That's good money, and the Joker is only going to be usable here. Let's just use the Joker right away. Oh, brimstone. I wish I could pick up brimstone, but I have chocolate milk. Keep that in mind. I guess I could still use it. But it's just not nearly as good. I'm going to take it anyways, just because I can take it for free. And I think it will still improve my chances just a bit. But not by much. Not as much as it would have improved my chances if I had not taken chocolate milk. Yeah, that's why. But, that's also why it's still pretty good. So, the boss room is not that way. No special room that way. Okay, just remember, your first shot is useless. Unless you don't charge, wait, and then charge it. And I don't think that brim snapping works quite as good anymore. I'm not going to be using full soul heart just to get into the curse room. Don't think that's worth my health. Since I've already used up three soul hearts for that deal with the devil. Yeah, that's right. Okay, very close calls there. That's what's going to happen when you screw up your first shot. But I'm pretty sure the boss room's not this way. I'm going to go there anyways. Hopefully this is a good pill. And it's a neutral pill. Okay, start chasing after me all you want. This means you're going to go away quicker. And deal with him. That room with the two red hearts could be worth my time to use the D20 on. And I'll just hit him. It's not great, but I think I am going to hold out just to see if there's something else on this floor with a little bit more potential. But it's 
speaking of potential, I guess that requires multiple rerolls, which I won't be able to get anymore. I love the red health that's dropping. Just kind of unfortunate that I don't have any red health, or I can't get any. Yeah, sure. Give him some of that. Just gonna spam Brimstone a little bit. Okay. That's gonna happen. And then I can do some of this. Perfect. Oh, we'll just use it there. I know that's a waste, but hey. Thought I'd try and get something out of it. There we go. Let's fight the boss. Hopefully it's Skull X. And it's pretty much the opposite of Skull X in terms of easiest and most difficult bosses I can fight. This is on very high on the difficult range. If not the most difficult boss I can fight here. While Skull X on the other hand is the easiest boss. Get a few extra weak shots in. Oh! I'll do your laser beam attack. Gonna keep you standing there by doing that. And then I can get in a few good shots. Thanks for the soul hearts. That is appreciated. Wire coat hanger, not so much. I'm already taking all of your stuff. And okay. Um let's head in this direction for Okay, I forgot that the flies could fly. How dumb of me. Why would I ever think that the flies can't go over rocks? Okay, first shot's useless, just... I... Really? Okay, yeah. Brimstone may be a bad thing when it comes to chocolate milk. I actually hurt the amount of damage that I can do. And that's not a good thing to lose your damage output. Okay, that should have been reroll target. Though uh, I think I still will use it as one. Just still lost like a third of its value. Almost. With that. And that's not going to be worth it. I will check out my rerolls on the Seeker Room once again. And that's going to not give me great stuff. So let's keep going. Arcade, that's kind of what I wanted to find. But I wanted to find that a long time ago. Spend some money here, spend some money there. Okay. The blood bank would normally be the main spot where I'd generate items. In other words, pennies, but can't really do that now. So, T20 loses a lot of its value with the arcade. And plus this, this skull guy's not working. Seriously? Why couldn't I shoot there? Okay, I'm going to pick up the dime because I'm pretty sure I can generate more items than just one out of ten cents. Pretty sure, at least. There we go. Got one item back already. And got a bunch of items. Picking up the dime looks like a pretty good idea now. Seriously, they didn't even give me a chance on that one. Now my health is... A big concern. Yeah, give me a chance that time. Okay, that's it. Might as well use a bomb here. I will pick that up. That's exactly what I'm after. I have this whole D20 thing. So let's try and stay alive to get another re-roll. Looks like the eyeball 
was able to kill the spiders. Interesting. Okay, money is helpful now. That first shot, I have to remember. Don't really worry about that first shot. And don't charge when going into his move. And it's all about the dodge right away. If I can just keep these things in mind. The room should go a little bit better. Okay, double wrath. Can you get me a good item? I know you can. So just do it for me this time. I'm really focusing my efforts on just the one guy. And let's see that. You want to eat some brimstone? Well, here you go. Shove it down your face. Unfortunately, two active bombs. Okay, first one's useless. Just get rid of that. It's all about the dodge here. Pretty sure my orb will save me from that worm attack. I think I can get one more reroll after this one. So that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. And not pick up the items in the arcade. But first let's play this guy out just a little bit more. Play that one too. Okay, the pill is something I'm actually going to use. And I think full health helped out by getting me half a soul heart. Not 100% sure, but I think that's the case. It's not great, but it's not like it matters anyways, right? Can't really get half soul hearts. So, in the grand scheme of things, I guess it was actually... Oh, seriously. It was useless. These guys are putting the moves on for whatever reason. They have good teamwork. It's that first shot. Okay, what? Seriously, I didn't use the D20. I didn't use the D20. I just went and played the stuff. Oh my. There's, there's two bad plays throughout this run. That's one of the two. The other one, still thinking that Brimstone's going to be worth my while. Yeah, there's no sense in even trying to get an extra reroll. It's not going to happen. So, might as well just finish off the rooms now. And deal with the meat one. Meet one is scary. And I guess I shouldn't have blown up the... The blood bank. Now should I? Could have used the chariot to get some... Extra sense out of there. But it's too late now. I'm just gonna go and... Finish off what I have in the arcade. Because I only have one more room than the boss room play these guys one more time each and well kinda worked out I'm gonna pick up one bomb blow this up and good thing I did and I'll pick up one more bomb and blow this up and not bad also this would have been so great for rerolls which I could have gotten one more out of. Let's just pick up these tarot cards and see what I have. I don't know where I left the sun card. Okay, there it is, good. Another soul heart. Well, I might as well start picking stuff up, right? Can't really swap it out for anything. Full health, that's going to be useless in the face of a sun card. Okay, well, there you go. That's... That gained a lot of health, so... That's what I was after. Pretty sure there's a pill in here, which I haven't seen before. So let's check it out. 
luck upgrade could have been useful before, or a little bit earlier. And I was trying to win some stuff out of those guys. But maybe I'll get another chance with another arcade in either the cathedral. I guess it's just the cathedral. Can we really get one in the chest? That is only if I can make it there. It's starting to be a big if. But I'm still going to say I like my chances. But just not as good as they were. Or as they could have been. If I started and played things right. Okay, Monstro. Just go away. And the juniors are gone. Zombies. It's, zo it's the zombies. I'll take your key. Those guys there. Okay, bombs, please. Thank you. We're throwing out bombs now. Yeah, just tried to go for the sweep on those guys. Just held off a little bit. And three more. There we go. Well, I actually have half decent health once again, so let's try not to waste it and go to the cathedral. I'll check out this direction, I guess. And see what's in here. I guess I should have waited to get a charge first, but hey, I got lots of bombs. No need to worry too much. Okay, that could have ended badly. That was nice. I don't really want what's in there. And I have to remember not to charge when entering a room. That's becoming a bit... Well, it's a good habit to have if you're playing with regular brimstone. I guess that's why I'm doing it. Because that's a habit I've picked up. Okay, lost one, but gained one soul heart. So I guess that kind of equals each other out. And deal with these guys smartly. The biggest scare of these guys is the fact that when they teleport, they could just teleport right beside you. So you always have to be watchful of that. Let's put a bomb here. And I'm going to save my money for now, unless I desperately need it later just to see if there's an arcade in this on this floor I'll spend most of my money there and try and gain some items from that but until then the slot machine is a nice backup and let's hide over the rock okay one thing that's pretty unfortunate throughout this run is that picking up spirit of the night has become useless thanks to brimstone giving me tears that can go over top of rocks and I've gotten two other flying items different than than uh, Spirit of the Night because I got Transcendence and I got Fate I guess even if there is an arcade I'm using my rerolls here so let's not worry about spending money in the arcade I guess and let's just spend some money here. I was hoping to get to an arcade with my before I got my rerolls. I guess that just didn't happen. And then with my luck upgrade, still not going to win anything. Because apparently the game doesn't want me to win. That's kind of its job. And it's doing, a, it's doing pretty well. Moon. Oh, I don't want... Okay, those are the two things that I do want. Plus I want that. Okay, somehow picked up the soul heart there. Give me something good. Something real good now. 
gonna be spending all my time here. So just oh no. It started okay, wait. I'm good. Brought it back. Two things that I want. And we'll spend all my money here. But luckily that's almost all gone now. Well, not luckily it's almost gone, but luckily that doesn't mean too much more time. And I thought I would have gotten more health out of that. But that is what it is, and what it is is stupid. But okay. That was just reckless, just trying to deal with the bomb flies right away. Should have just let them do their thing and just fly around. And that was in the door, I can deal with that one then. Okay, one Loki down. Just one to go. No, you don't want to do your spawn attack. Spawn something. I dare you. I dare you to spawn a bomb fly. Okay, doesn't want to listen to the dare. Okay, just... I wasn't sure if I had lost my usefulness on that first one, so I just put out a simple weak shot, just to kind of make my other shots more worthwhile. Oh... Things went so good for a while. I will still check for an arcade because I'm stubborn like that, I guess. Another luck upgrade. That's not very useful, at least not right now. Okay. Luckily, it's a room that I can deal with. Hopefully, those flies came awful close. And that's not good when the enemy comes close. Well, good thing I did that room. And you know what? I might as well finish off the other two rooms. Because there's only two left. And I guess I'm kind of stubborn like that. If I get so close, why not just finish it off, finish off the task? Hopefully it's not a difficult room, and doesn't appear to be. So that's good news. And actually got another reroll, so... That's also good news. Let's go and check out that secret room once more. And this is going to do it for rerolls on this floor. Let's hope everything works out with this golden chest. Sure. You know what? Why not? I'll say that was good. Let's try and utilize that luck upgrade. And maybe get card that could help me out in this fight. At least that's the plan. Some health and a good tarot card. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. Oh, the moon. Polaroid and sun card. Those are what I want. Let's just pop it in. And... Moving on to Isaac. I guess I could always do the mob trap room. What could I possibly get from there? Another damage upgrade, more health, maybe. HP, range. Nothing I want too much, so... Yeah, let's just go fight Isaac. Health would be the one thing that I'd really want. But I think I should be fine without it. I got two orbitals, and I should get those two pretty flies. I'm really hoping those are gonna do me well in this fight. That's... I think those are gonna be what dictates how good I do. The fact that I did pick up Brimstone is nice because I'm not firing as many shots. That was part of the reason why I wanted to pick it up so badly. Is because I knew these late game bosses I was gonna have trouble since I guess I Maybe I picked up on the fact that I didn't have any orbitals, but yeah, I just don't want to fire as many shots typically, something I try and aim for, so getting items like Brimstone are really useful for that fact, and that makes these boss fights a lot easier, 
you know, still tricky. I actually managed to make it to the third phase before taking it. Well, I'm assuming I'm gonna take some damage here. Because third phase, it's a pretty safe bet that you're gonna take damage. But luckily, so far, nothing yet. Oh, that was close. That was real close. Okay. Brimstone is also pretty nice for dealing with these Angel Fetus things. It kind of helps you hit Isaac and... Oh, I thought for a second there I was going to be able to get a perfect Isaac fight. But my health stayed the same thanks to that soul heart that dropped at the end. Let's go to the chest. Okay. That would have been useful a long time ago. Still going to be useful now, but just a little unfortunate it had to happen now. People's eye could be nice, but you know what? I don't want to risk that extra damage. Same with Dead Bird. Because extra damage on Blue Baby means extra shots being fired. And it's going to suck to get rid of the D20, don't get me wrong. But I want some good stuff here. If I get hit, I can lay out some extra damage. That's pretty good, but I don't really need speed or range at this point. And definitely a few options that the boss room could be. I'm going to check out this way. And fight these guys. Double Wretched. Uh, came really close. One down. One to go. Those mini spiders got a little bit scary. And I can deal with you like that. One mini spider to go. I like that room. More of that room, please. Oh, not more of this room. Yeah. No thanks on the Monstro 4s, but well, luckily Brimstone doesn't move them around, and it seems like I got them both in the laser pattern, as long as my familiars don't screw it up. Should be A-OK -okay on this room, luckily, because Monstro 4, definitely no easy task otherwise. And looking good so far. Oh. Definitely think I'm super lucky to get out of that one. Let's go back and go to the right here. Gertie, how's it going? I like fighting Gertie. Definitely one of the easier bosses if you ask me. Never really had any trouble with Gertie. And that's thanks to just in part being a little bit patient. You know that Gertie has a lot of health, but you'll get it down eventually. And just take your time, get the shots in where you can. Let's reroll these bad boys. Yeah, health is going to be big. So do I take Lard? I think the answer is going to be yes. Mainly because speed's not going to matter too much. That's only a yes if I can find the boss room before getting another reroll. Then I'll take Lard. See, because speed is definitely important for this room. It's just not going to be important for that last fight. So, I'm not going to take it before f finishing off all these rooms, but I will take it if I can find the boss room. And that's the only room remaining. Telepills could be nice. And I'm surprised that this way is also not the boss room. Unfortunate hit of damage there. Especially against Double Wretched, but these guys came to play. That's for sure. These guys just went full out. Never seen so many attacks from a Wretched. Or at least Double Wretched, I should say. There's no slow play in their game. I guess the next place I'll go is just kind of around the secret room area. I'll go to the left here. Double Super Sloth. I could drop an excellent tarot card. And, oh, nice spider. Nice spider toss. And by excellent tarot card, I guess I would take... Uh, what would I take? I'd take the Empress. I'd take the Devil card. I would also take 
What else? I'd uh, take the Hero Font. That'd be awesome. But who wouldn't take the Hero Font at this point? Sun Carrot's pretty good. It does provide me with a little bit of extra health. That's all it's really going to be used for. Poison Bombs? Wasn't quite where they can get those. Maybe I was. Yeah. That's either Bob's own head or Poison Bombs. You know what, Lard? Pretty sure I'm close to finding the boss room. So I'll pick you up. Get some extra health. And Doctor's Remote isn't very good. Oh man. It's not very good, but I may just use it once. And wait, maybe I will actually get a reroll, because that's not the way to the boss room either. Interesting. Um, let's attack the secret room from this side. I feel safer doing it from this way. Three cents. Wonderful. Not really. But oh well. I guess I'm gonna go up and then to the left. Should be the way of the boss room then. Famine's gonna go first. Because he kind of has to. Um, where do you, where do you go, Famine? Famine. 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 Um. Famine. Uh, hello? H how's it going, Famine? I know you're still there, I can hear you. I'm scared he's just gonna pop out and hit me right away. Actually, got Famine down to his second phase. Oh no, in war. Okay. War and Famine at the second phase. Not good news, but luckily Famine died right away. There's a soul heart from defeating Blue Famine, I'm assuming. And brains. The tricky part about these brains with brimstones that kind of have to get in the way since you can't do diagonal shots. But if you're quick about it, everything should be fine. Almost got hit by a small brain. Luckily that wasn't a teleport. And sure enough, there's the boss room. Ooh, close call. Beat Super Lost last time. Hopefully I can do it again. Let's make those nice big circles. I would be walking on the creep, but thanks to triple flying, no problem anymore. One more to go. That's a I found pills. Sure, I'll take it. Don't mind taking an I found pills pill. And one more reroll. Let's do it. I can get five extra bombs. Or I could use Lemon Mishap. Um. You know, let's do this. Just because I have that Polaroid invincibility, so I can just lay down a lot of bombs. And then once I get at a safe distance, then I can blow them all up at once instead of one having the other one shoot away because of the explosion. So I think it's going to be actually helpful, believe it or not. And I got a pretty good feeling about this fight, and about the rest of this run. So that's good news. I also do have the sun card for backup. I could use it as a death card if I feel like I'm doing well enough. Okay, let's execute plan TNT bomb, or whatever you want to call it. Boom. See? Got both of them at once. Do that again. Oh, come on. The fight's definitely going worse, and I expect it to go not as good, but maybe not this bad. But I still think I should be fine. Because I have that sun card which can be used as health. Which right now I don't think I will even need that. If the angel fetuses get too overwhelming, kind of like they are now. If I don't have that, then I'll just use the sun card. I accidentally pressed the bomb key for whatever reason. Should know better to do that by now. And Blue Baby's dead. Angel Feast is dead. Gets one last hit. And luckily for me, I'm still alive. And I still have this item, so might as well make a glorious explosion of TNT poison bombs remote detonator, whatever you want to call this, I'm not sure. I think that's 
maybe what it's called. But I'm just happy to make flashy lights. It's a pretty show. Sparkly. And only a few more left. Gotta fill in those empty spaces. That's a pretty big empty space here. Oh, I'll move that one. And let's just nudge this one down. Just Oh, a little bit too much there. Put one back there. Isn't that just pretty? It helps give you a seizure warning. What? I'm going to go... Ready? Three, two, one. Boom! Ouch. Finish the game. Well, I hope you enjoyed that run as much as I did. I thought that was awesome, especially at the end. Kind of screwed up with the truck and milk brimstone thing. I knew that was going to be a little bit of a trouble, but I also thought it was a good idea. Turned out okay, I guess. If you want to see more Isaac, feel free to check out the other Isaac videos on my channel. If you like this run, don't forget to leave a like. You can also feel free to comment and, subs and subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching.